Hello, my name is Aposta Mangwe. I think I have a condition called generalized anxiety disorder, which means that um, I basically worry a lot. Like literally, I cannot stop worrying. You know? Something that I think I found out when I would constantly hear my family, my friends, even just random people say. You need to stop worrying. So, like, I kept on hearing, you need to stop worrying, you overthink. And for me, I didn't think it was something that was so serious till it started affecting my just my general well being. Right now, what I'm doing actively is just maybe reading more about the you know the condition and trying to figure out what other people do. just try to like, so maybe change my lifestyle a bit, just like avoid stress and find things that make me happy. Mm. Within Zambia, like, a, like an institution, facility, there isn't any, any, there isn't any that I know. I have a very informal kind of support system from friends mostly. Yes. Absolutely. It has everything to do with that. Having to deal with fitting in a box or something, for me it has always been a struggle. Like up to now, it's like things I deal with every day. My name is uh, Sean Wendia. I have a mental health condition. I suffer from anxiety. I feel I knew about my mental health issue from, 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 from a younger age, probably even when I was 10. Something that I struggle with, so I, I don't I don't I feel like if I go looking for help, I'm justifying the fact that I have. I manage my mental health, health issues most of the time by hanging out with friends, taking alcohol, or just finding something that will distract me from the the actual. Mental health. I feel that my sexual orientation does play a part in my mental health. I, I usually get anxiety when I feel people are judging me based on who. Based on how my sexual, based on my sexual hey. orientation. Um, my name is uh, Zeke Hamilton. But when it comes to the mental illness, the, the the thing that I've experienced, I think, would be I've had anxiety. anxiety in the form of my future. How would my work life be if people at work found out? I discovered uh, anxiety. Like I was having anxiety when I was in. In my eighth grade, China. Usually, I hate so mentally or some other mental illnesses. I've never really heard of it, like in detail, of them providing I specific seen anything LGBTI tailored in any government facility because China is a government facility. I have tried to seek for professional help, but it's I haven't found any professional help. It has been a, an issue of you go to some peers or experienced uh, uh, people who are older than you and are also in the same shoes. Just go to them and try to figure out how they've coped up with it. But the answers have not been of very much help you know, because they haven't been of much substance. It's a 50-50 thing in the terms of my orientation it's, it's something that I've accepted and I'm really really I've accepted it it's who I am I think the anxiety comes from how society views me how social media tradition um, religious groups have just labeled people like me how they've labeled us to be all the same in a negative way that's, that's where the anxiety really roots from. That's where it really comes from.